So what's up guys, this is your boy Tyree Sirs, also known as Mr. NBA. And I'm coming to you live from my home office here in Illinois. So hey, today guys, I want to talk strategy and how strategies trump sales every day of the week. So as a business owner, your primary objective should be to get a return on your investment. Now, the way that we come up with, with that return in terms of percentages is we take the profit minus your investment divided by an investment and we multiply that by 100. I know I just said a whole lot and you know I teach money, so we're gonna show you what that looks like in terms of dollars and cents, right? So now, as my econ associate, we teach strategies. And our first strategy we teach is the tax minimization strategy. And what that strategy is, we show you how to make an adjustment to your W-4 and bring home additional money into your household without selling anything, without recruiting anything, but just by your sweat equity from your labor. Now, most people, when they make that adjustment, they bring home anywhere from $200 to $500. And I won't talk about, I'm not going to dive into that just yet, but I will dive into the fact is that your investment for a legitimate business as a My Econ associate is only $35 a month, right? Peanuts. Now you look at it, you do the math. If I told you that I was going to give you $200 a month and the only thing you had to do was give me $35 back, I, agree, I believe that most people would agree to do, to do that, right? So now let's look at what that $35 a month is going to cost you or what your investment would be. So, implement strategy one. Your initial investment will be $35 times 12 months, which would equate to $420 annually, right? Now, like I said, the first strategy doesn't require any sales. It doesn't require any recruitment. It just requires you actually going and taking the time to actually go through the steps to fill out a form, turn it into your HR department, and tell them that, hey, listen, I'm a business owner, and this is the amount of taxes that I want you to take out of my check. Now, listen, usually that, in turn, turns into about $200 to $500 back into your household. Now, we're just going to use $200 as a bottom line or a lower number. Right? So, if you were able to get $200 back into your household over a 12 month period, you would have earned $2,400 off of a $420 investment. That's winning, right? Now, so if we were going to do the math and show you what the return on that investment actually was, we're going to take that $2,400 that you earn, right? Which is your profit, your gross profit. And then we're going to subtract what your investment was, which is $420, right? And your net profit will be $1,980, right? Now, I told you that we take that profit, we subtract your investment, then we actually divide by that investment as well, right? So if you do the math, if you do the numbers, you're going to come out with a number of approximately 4.71, right? Now, in order to turn that to a percentage, you have to multi multiply that by 100, right? So 4.71 multiplied by 100 is 471. Now, so what that basically shows you is off an initial investment of 35 bucks a month, you could turn a 471% return annually on that investment. Now listen guys, I was always told that men might tell you a lie, women definitely lie, but numbers never lie. I hope y'all watching, cause I'm still working. Peep the game.